I stopped using... <laughs> the light just fell over. I don't have to do that anymore. I bought a new tripod. Um, I just got it, still got the tags on it. Um, I'll have to show it to you guys sometime. Once I start using it, I'm gonna probably do a review on it. I replaced this thing here. Um, that's why I was kind of joked around at the start of my videos. I like try to mess with the camera and adjust things because this thing to get it balanced as a tripod is really challenging. Um, it was kind of cool like when I vlogged a lot outside and did winter beer things, like vlogging and holding the camera this way was really nice. Uh, but I actually grow accustomed to where I stopped using <laughs> the light just fell over. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I got, I stopped using it because I just actually kind of liked holding the camera and talking to the camera that way. And it felt less obtrusive actually going into breweries uh, by not having that with me. So yeah, anyway, that's funny. Um, I'm in the office for the first time recording in the new house. Um, in this office. Uh, I don't really know if I like this setup very well. The lighting seems really off. What you can't see is I have a lamp right here. I have a lamp here and I have like my portable light here that just fell off. Um, that's gonna be the great way to open the video. But we're back. We're not doing a tripod review today. I'll probably do a tripod review at some point, but today is not that day. Uh, today we're going to be drinking a Chicago beer phase three. Uh, it's a Nectar series beer that they have. It's a fantastic beer. Um, I haven't had this one, I don't believe, but I've had some of the beers in the series. Um, and I'll tell you a little about Phase 3 here in a second. I wanted to like talk about Chicago because I'm wearing Kemp's Upper Tap. I'm from Central Illinois, and Kemp's Upper Tap is one of my favorite craft beer bars in Illinois. Actually, it's my favorite craft beer bar in Illinois. Um, they sent me this shirt, so I wanted to give them a shout out as well. It'll be a nice thumbnail for uh, the video. Uh, but we're going to do Phase 3. Phase 3, to tell you a little about them, uh, they just opened up a spot in Lake Zurich, uh, in the old Lake Zurich Brewing location. Um, they've been around for about a year and a half right now. Um, Sean the Brewer and Everett Morris uh, that were at, uh, Sean was the head brewer at Moore Brewing in Villa Park. Evan, I believe, was the bar manager at that place as well. They both broke off from Moore Brewing. Um, amicably, they left on good terms um, to go kind of start their own thing, and that, that became phase three. From the get-go, they've just done a really good job with double IPAs and things of that nature. They make some great stouts. I've not been fortunate to have a stout from them yet. Uh, one day I will get in on those. Um, but they make great double IPAs. Um, earlier this year, they started a, a two new series of beers. One is a um, cream series. Uh, they're, they're probably my favorite beers that they put out. They're oat cream beers, very similar to Monkish and other half brewing. Those are beers you see me talk a lot about on Instagram. I've never reviewed them on here, um, but I, I guess I've talked about them a little bit, but um, they're two breweries I really like a lot. And then it's the Nectar series. These are like sour fruit ales. Um, I think these things are like smoothies, basically. They're just so good. If you're not really a beer fan, like this is a great way to get in and kind of enjoy the game. And the camera's not gonna show that can very well. Uh, but we're gonna get into it. Um, yeah, let's, let's just try the beer. Let's crack it open. I got one, a glass from my favorite breweries, Watermark Brewing. I uh, finally picked up one of these. It's a great glass. Ooh, yeah. Again, I'm over my laptop pouring a beer. Who else would do that but me? Uh, it's pouring like kind of a thought. You guys know that I like the mimosa looking beers. Uh, this thing almost just looks like a mimosa smoothie. Uh, passion fruit and peach are the flavors on this one. Oh man, that looks, I mean, that looks, doesn't that look beautiful? Looks so good. That's a good looking beer. Yeah, that's a good looking beer. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's give it a try. I'm going to stick my nose in it. If you're, I guess you're not a beer reviewer if you don't do that, right? I smell the peach is really strong. Peach, the passion fruit as well. The peach is really strong. Um, mm, yeah, I like that. Peach and passion fruit. Mm. So we're going to try it out. Like no head on this thing either at all. It's, it basically looks like a smoothie. I, I should have threw it in the freezer and, and we could have had actual smoothies. <laughs> mm. Very pulp, mm, excuse me, very pulpy. Obviously you can see a peach color, like a really good mouth feel, like very smooth, it's thick. Man, that thing is, that's like drinking a peach puree with passion fruit in it. That is really good. I like that. Mm. Mm. Man, that is, I mean, that's fantastic. I really enjoy that. Um, 
You guys should try it out. Phase three, I will link them below. Uh, I would put, I'll talk about the review in a second. I will link them below, but they're a great spot. They just had, I believe, their grand opening of their tap room in Lake Zurich. Uh, I've not been up there yet. I hope to get up there. Lake Zurich is just so far away, but um, I've loved everything they've really put out. They're really doing some great stuff. If you know somebody and get somebody that can mule you some of that, uh, reach out to me. I might be able to find you some if you're looking for some. Uh, that's not my thing. I don't really mule, but I usually have some uh, in, in house here. Uh, but even look at the glass. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's almost like after you're done drinking orange juice for a smoothie, you got like all the pulp on the side. I just love that. That's one of my favorite things. Hmm. Peach and passion fruit. That's tasty. <laughs> um, so that's the first beer review in the office. Uh, I, I don't know how you guys feel about the lighting. Let me know down below. Uh, comment. I think that the lighting feels really off. I might have to invest in uh, something else for this office because I don't have an overhead light. And obviously, I wouldn't put one on, but I've got three lights kind of going right here. And I've been recording outside lately, and I decided today I wanted to kind of bring in the office, see how the sound would do. I think it'll be a lot better being inside. Uh, but this is the office. Obviously, I have the beer sign. I'll have to give you a tour of my very small office one day. Um, I got the new PC that's here sitting over here. I'll talk to you guys about that some other time. But um, Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the beer review. If you have any comments, oh my gosh, why do I do this every time? Oh, every time I do this, it's a beer review video. And yet again, I've told you what I think about the beer, but I haven't talked about my scale. Okay, so obviously, if you watch my beer reviews before, I do a scale of one to three. Number one is a drain pour beer. I will drink some of that beer, try it out, but I do not waste my time on bad beer. I will pour it out. There's no one, no one should do that. If water tastes better than the beer, drink some water instead. A number two rating, so I do one to three. Number two rating is, I think that's a good beer. It's one that I'm gonna share with my friends. So if I have four cans, usually get a four pack. I'm gonna drink two, I'm gonna share two. Uh, Cause I, you know, I like it, but I wanna get, I wanna get the word out about that brewery. Um, or I just, I wanna take it to a beer share with my friends and let them try it out. If a beer is a three, and not a lot of them fall in a three very often, but if it is a three, if I give it a three, that is a beer I am hoarding. I am keeping that son of a gun because I like it a lot and I will enjoy it. And um, yeah, so that, that's kind of me. Not a lot of beers fall into the three category. I don't know if I've done a three on the beer reviews. You guys will tell me if I'm wrong or not in the comments. Um, but phase three nectar, the sour fruit ale, I think it should be called smoothie fruit ale, is a the passion fruit peach. I'm going to give it a three. I am not sharing this beer with anybody. It's fantastic. I love it. And um, yeah, I mean, if somebody comes over, I might pour some out of a can, but I I'm, I'm going to drink all of them. They're good. That's really good. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you being here and uh, have a great day.